This reflex is high yield to know because it can be elicited by a variety of chemical agents. In the first experiment, this reflex was elicited by intracoronary injection of barotrum alkaloids. This is how it was discovered, and that's why this reflex is considered chemo reflex. But as we'll see further, it can be provoked by mechanical stimulation. Also, it can be elicited by venoms from snakes or from insects, scorpions for example, and it contributes to their lethality by development of severe hypertensive state and also by apnea. Also, this reflex can be provoked by serotonin, and it's high yield to know because in cardiac disease, the level of serotonin in coronary circulation increase. So myocardial ischemia or infarction causes increase in serotonin in coronary circulation. Also, especially with reperfusion, there is increase in reactive oxygen species and prostaglandins in coronary circulation. And all these ischemic-induced substances can stimulate baroreceptors. And in this case, baroreceptors play a protective role. In response to ischemia, they decrease heart rate and also cause hypertension. And with bradycardia, workload on heart decreases, so it decreases oxygen demands of myocardial tissue. Also a well-known fact that infraction of the posterior left ventricular wall manifests with bradycardia and hypertension much more frequently than any other type of infarction. Basically up to 61% of all bradyarrhythmias occurring within first hour of posterior myocardial infarction. And it's explained by left ventricular baroreceptors localization and activation of basal Jerich effects. Recall that in left ventricle, baroreceptors localize preferentially in the inferior posterior walls of the heart. And when an infarction of the posterior wall occurs, it causes massive release of ischemic substances right near baroreceptors. So with posterior myocardial infarction, there is maximal concentration of ischemic substances near baroreceptors, and it causes strong chemical stimulation. Also, posterior infarction causes underfilling and deformation of myocardial wall, that in this case causes mechanical stimulation of baroreceptors, and baroreceptors react with pronounced bradycardia and hypertension, that often cause development of cardiac arrhythmias, that in some cases results in sudden cardiac arrest. Also, this reflex strongly associated with reperfusion. Because medications that is used for IV thrombolysis, for example streptokinase, urokinase, or recombinant tissue plasminogen activator, are one of those chemical substances that can stimulate baroreceptors and provoke basal Jerich reflex, that results in transient bradycardia and hypertension, particularly in case of acute myocardial infarction of the inferior wall. Moreover, activation of basal Jerich reflex after thrombolysis is indicator of successful reperfusion, and it was determined that the appearance of basal Jerich reflex enhanced the probability of early reperfusion up to 94%. Also, sometimes aortic stenosis, even without severe ischemia, can activate basal Jerich reflex, because severe aortic stenosis causes increase in left ventricular pressure that causes mechanical stimulation of baroreceptors, and this may provoke hypertension. Also, basal Jerich reflex can occur in case of severe hypovolemia, because in most cases with hypovolemia, basal Jerich reflex is inhibited to prevent decrease in blood pressure. But severe hypovolemia causes severe decrease in systemic venous return, that results in substantially decreased left ventricular filling, basically left ventricle become empty, and in this situation left ventricular walls begin to contract actively to compensate hypertension. It's called hyperkinetic heart. And this causes mechanical stimulation of baroreceptors that decrease heart rate in order to increase left ventricular filling that will increase left ventricular contraction because according to Frank Stalin law, the higher is left ventricular distension, the higher is the force of left ventricular contraction. And also it's decreased oxygen demands for myocardial tissue so, in severe hypovolemia, baroreceptors play a protective role. Also, basal Jerich reflex considered as a mechanism of vasovagal syncope symptoms. The possible mechanism is that sudden emotional stress or acute pain, for example, activates specific areas in cerebral cortex that then transmit signal to hypothalamus and then to medulla, where it decreases the activity of centers that provide sympathetic nervous system outflow. So, the activity of vasoconstrictor and cardiac accelerator center decrease, 
and increase the activity of cardiac deceleratory center. That increase parasympathetic nervous system outflow, and basically this results in the same effects as with classic basal gyrish reflex. It causes bradycardia, hypotension, and hypotension causes decrease in cerebral blood flow, and this causes episodes of faintness. That is signature symptom of vasovagal syncope.